Hi everyone, Eric Reynolds with your Fox 10 News Now update. The Mobile County Sheriff's Office investigating a stabbing. It happened around 9 Monday night on Mayfield Road in Citronelle. Now deputies say that they found the victim suffering from cuts to his neck and hands. He told deputies that he was fighting with his roommate when his roommate attacked him with a knife. The victim was flown to a hospital for treatment. No word yet on his condition. The suspect is in custody and so far no names have been released. Mobile police investigating and identifying now the man they say was shot to death on Booker Street in the Trinity Gardens community. The family sharing a picture of 57 year old James Shin Jr. He was shot and killed on Booker Street around 7 Sunday night. Now, according to his family, Shin was remodeling a house and that's where he was gunned down. A neighbor across the street and also saying that Shin was a distant cousin of hers, calling the neighborhood typically peaceful. She was sitting on her porch when she heard something that sounded like firecrackers. I didn't know which way, you know, it was coming from. So basically that was down real low, grabbed my door, left my dog, and went inside. Now this is the city's 43rd homicide of the year. His family tells Fox 10 News that Shin leaves behind two daughters. No word yet on any suspects in this case, but if you know anything, please call Mobile Police. The Baldwin County Coliseum will soon become the property of the city of Robertsdale. Now, at the time that it opened back in 2008, it was the largest facility of its kind to ever be built through a FEMA grant. Baldwin County provided $4 million in matching funds and agreed to maintain the facility. The city has been interested in purchasing the Coliseum for some time. The real factor in it is then the city can actually control the site. Uh, we'd like to do some expansion out there, make it bigger and better, make it more of an attraction for the community, and hopefully to use it as an economic stimulus to bring in other commercial entities into the area that can help to also support it. The Robertsdale City Council should vote to approve the purchase later this month. Mayor Charles Murphy says that he hopes that everything is finalized by Thanksgiving. Millions of Americans may be one step closer to getting their COVID booster shots. The FDA advisory panel is expected to meet later this week to discuss giving extra doses of the Moderna and the Johnson & Johnson vaccine to vaccinated citizens. The meeting comes less than a month after U.S. regulators gave the go-ahead for booster shots of the Pfizer vaccine to Americans, including the elderly, those who work in high-risk settings, and adults with underlying conditions. I'm meteorologist Michael White with your Fox 10 storm track report. We start off looking at the radar and thankfully it looks exactly like it did yesterday. Dry, no weather related problems and it looks like we stay that way through the day. Now that being said, you may run into some patchy fog this morning as you head out the door to work and get the kids to school, but that'll be about the only weather related hazard you'll face. We're watching this big system out west across the Rockies. This is what's going to bring us the October air we've been craving. This will also bring us our next chance of rain and storms on Friday and Saturday by the time it blows through our section of the Gulf Coast. For now, severe weather won't be expected, but the overall rain and storm coverage will be in the 30 to 40 percent range on Friday and Saturday, and then we're going to go cooler and drier by the time we get to Sunday. So your weather headlines for this Tuesday morning, patchy fog possible as you head out the door. We are going to stay dry and warm for the afternoon, and then rain chances are possible by Friday. Let's go through the latest Fox 10 future cast. Any fog out there is going to be gone later this morning and we see the sky go bright and sunny for the afternoon. Temperatures will still be warm. We'll be back in the mid 80s again this afternoon. We will see a mostly clear sky tonight. The possibility of some patchy fog will also exist for Wednesday morning. Here's a look at how the next seven days stack up. The highs remain in the mid 80s every afternoon through the end of the week. We do start to see rain and storm opportunities coming back for Friday and Saturday along the front. And then look what happens on Sunday and Monday. We go sunny and we go considerably cooler. Highs go back in the mid 70s. Check out the morning temperatures back in the mid to upper 50s. We'll be keeping you updated on your forecast throughout the day right here on Fox 10 News Now.